Welcome to Inside New York. <laughs> That's a great question. Thank you. Hi, this is Shaka Khan, and you're watching Inside New York. <laughs> Welcome to Inside New York. We are delighted to have on today's program as part of our special series on legends in theater, an icon in theater. We are delighted to have on today's program a return of, I call him, the king of black theater, Woody King. Tell our viewers just briefly how you got involved in theater and why you decided to start the new Federal Theater. Well, I got into theater as an actor uh, right after high school. I was so moved by Sidney Poitier and the Defiant Ones until I just said, wow, my God, if this guy is 27 years old and nominated for an Academy Award for the Defiant Ones, and at 16 or 17 he couldn't even speak English, there's no way uh, I should not take a shot, you know what I mean? So uh, I took a shot and worked as an actor for a long time, then came into New York and uh, the theater was bursting. I mean, it was so much energy going on in the mid-60s. And then I got into uh, the uh, a Day of Absence and Happy Ending by Douglas Turner Ward, and I worked at the American Place Theater. As an actor, I worked pretty regularly, uh, but I always wanted to uh, put some of the literature that I saw uh, written in small theaters around the country on the stage and sort of like propel it out into the mainstream. And for our first 10 years of New Federal Theater, we were very, very successful. We had a hit each year for 10 years. So that brought us a lot of national attention. And, and uh, some of those hits went to Broadway. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Some of those hits went to Broadway, you went to film. mention uh, a few of them. Uh, one of our films, Black Girl, was made into a film starring Leslie Uggams, directed by um, Ozzie Davis, written by J.E. Franklin. Ed Bullen's play, The Taking of Miss Janie, won the Drama Critics Circle Award. We just had hits, hits, hits. What keeps you going? What do you attribute your success to? A lot of it is luck, a lot of it being in the right place at the right time, a lot of it is really traveling and looking for artists, whether they're directors, writers, or actors, and saying, please come and work at our theater. I'm sure people want to know about what experience you had with Denzel Washington. Uh, in his early years, he did a play called When the Chickens Came Home to Roost. He played Malcolm X. And I think uh, those who saw it, uh, I think I can safely say, was amazed. They had never seen a person actually transform himself into the character he was playing. When he walked on stage, there was actually gasps in the room. They, I mean, people couldn't, they, they, they took, he took their breath away because he resembled Malcolm X, he walked like Malcolm X, he had his glasses, his watch, his suit, everything. He's a master at uh, characterizations. I think uh, the artists work with me because I give an artist an unbelievable amount of freedom. Once I select an artist to work, I mean, he is pretty much on his own, you know. We just pay the bills and oversee his vision or her vision. We don't really interfere with their creativity. The play is the property. Uh, if a director has an idea and a vision that he wants to, or she wants to, uh, uh, you know, accomplish, then what we do is really facilitate. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the best thing a theater can do, and that is facilitate. Uh, give an artist space to work in, and that's what we try and do. Now, there are people that are probably saying, do you really need black theaters? Black people who go to the theater, they want to see images of themselves, reaffirmation of who they are. They don't want to reaffirm white people, they want to reaffirm themselves. They want to see beautiful images of themselves. They don't want to see uh, women who are, um, you know, uh, a wayward prostitutes, whatever. They want to see you know, uh, Joan Allen, who's a TV commentator. They want to see positive images of themselves. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm sure, like, there is as much drama in your life as any <laughs> Don't person. Don't ask me. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't you know, but, the but the image that comes with it, you know, is, relates to everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> so well, those you know are the kind of plays we're looking for. I see.